Right, good morning everyone. Welcome to this week's video. So we just dropped the van off to get a new radiator fitted. So I thought it was a prime opportunity to take a walk down to the river and we'll take a look at a really, really cost-effective pack raft by Adeli. We'll get that in the water and then we'll paddle back home along the River Waveney. I think we're going to have to stop and get the wet weather gear out, I think, because looking behind us, it's looking a bit grey over at Will's Mums. Well, that turned really, really quickly. We just had a massive, massive hailstorm, which I'm not too impressed about, to be perfectly honest. I have no idea what it's going to be like down the river, but uh, we'll crack on, and uh, it's probably going to take us about an hour, I think, to get over there. To go. Before we join the, before we join the river down there, but uh, we'll get the bag on the bag and uh, we'll try and defeat the weather. I think we had about three, four seasons in about two minutes. Then, so we're not too far now uh, from the Waveney Valley. That is, it's just over yonder, just that way down there, uh, and then we're going to walk along the river. Uh, towards Gelderston and then we'll take a look at this uh, this pack raft once we get down there. Anyway, catch you in a bit. None of this weather was on the forecast today. I guess that's why it's called a forecast, really. I was hoping for a really nice sunny day, you know, just to enjoy a day off, just to have a walk and then have a paddle and then just sit by the bank and have something to eat. But uh, looking at all of that behind us, I think we're gonna get shat on again in a minute. We're here today to take a look at the Voyager pack raft by Adeli pack rafts. This pack raft, as you can see, this is quite a sizable pack raft. So this is version three of the Voyager. There's uh, three different versions, all in different sizes. This has a length of uh, two and a half meters. And as you can see from this, it's quite a big pack raft and it is quite heavy. It is 3.1 kilos compared to some of the small packable pack rafts that we've been using. This is quite a heavy beast, this is. But I'm really looking forward to giving this piece a go here, which is at the stern of the uh, the raft there so it will actually take a, a small thermoplastic skeg so I'm really looking forward to giving it a go just to see how a skeg affects uh, paddling. So the first thing to look at here is at the stern you've got your filling valve here so this is your standard Boston valve here so you've got just an open valve uh, with a, with the top piece off and then as you screw this in you've got a one-way valve the, the pack raft itself comes with a really, really nice lightweight um, inflation bag, which I actually really, really prefer these lightweight bags because they're not so bulky and they can be squashed up really, really small when you're fitting them into your bag. 
But uh, as for today, we're going to be using this little pump by Flextail Gear to inflate the pack raft. So we'll get the valve done and we'll get this on and get it all pumped up. So there we go. So these little pumps are absolutely brilliant. These are, they cost about 20 quid. You can get about three rafts pumped up out of one charge on these. So that's this raft done. So we just got to just uh, manually inflate this just to get the pressure up. But the one thing I have forgot to do, I've just thought, is I haven't put the skeg on. So let's just see about sticking the skeg on there, on the stern of this. So I did actually think that you need to have your pack rough deflated to put this on but it looks like you can get the skeg on without it being deflated yeah so easy as that so there we go we'll see how that goes I wonder how much difference that's gonna make Right, so there we go. So that's the pack raft all set up, and I am pretty impressed with this. So the pack raft itself is made out of 210 single coated TPU. The floor is an 840, and that's single coated as well, where most other pack rafts are a double coated uh, 840 TPU on the floor. But I'm really, really impressed with it. So all of the seams on the pack raft, they're all stitched and they're all heat sealed as well. So I'm really, really looking at the uh, at the, the seams of the pack raft it looks really really well made so looking at the bow of the Voyager you've got four gear loops you've got two on the port side and two on the starboard side there and they're all in the right place to be sticking a bike on the front of this pack raft remember this pack raft is uh, is size three so this is a little bit longer this is at 250 centimeters so you've got plenty of space and the gear loops in the right place as well so to stick a bike on as well as opposed to some of the other pack rafts where you've got this gear loop which is brought forward a little bit so so you haven't got much to tie down if you're tying a bike onto the front of it. So this is going to be really, really suitable to be using uh, for a bike raft in session. So like I mentioned before, this Voyager, this is uh, size three this is. So this has um, a, a stern to bow length of 250 centimeters and uh, internal it's got 150 centimeters in it as well so there's a massive massive amount of space inside of this pack raft so you can stick your gear and everything else inside of it as well. Anyway, let's get this on the water and see how it paddles. Touch wood. That is the last of the rain, although, oh my god, it looks black over there. Well, I tell you, you can notice a massive, massive difference with having that skeg on the back. I would highly recommend having a skeg. You haven't got as much pull to the left and to the right as you're paddling along as what you do on the other pack rods. Maybe because this is longer slightly, but this paddles really, really nice. So yeah, in general, I'm really impressed with it. It's a really nice little pack raft. It feels quite sluggish, but I've got a feeling that's because I've got the tide against me and the wind is also against me. But I do like the way that it tracks really, really well with that skeg on. It's really, really nice. But a bit weighty for my liking. It's all right for something like this if you're just sort of day paddling and you're not carrying a great deal of kit, it's not too bad, but uh, if you're sort of multi-day hiking and pack rafting, 3.1 kilos is a bit much. For me, anyway, I always try and keep the weight down as much as I can. Pack raft, I would say, it should be no more than 2.5 kilos. All right, I think we're gonna have to put a jacket on. A waterproof one. Looking very, very gray up there. And I think for the price, this retails in the UK at £540, this does. And uh, that's the pack raft, the seat, uh, the backrest, the inflation bag, uh, the, the, the patches, and, and of course the skeg as well. 
but uh, yeah I'm pretty impressed with this it's a really really nice pack graft it's not something that I'd use a lot of the time really because of the weight on it it's 3.1 kilos which is a bit too much for me to be sticking in a hiking bag but uh, for something like this on a day hike and a day paddle it's absolutely perfect so yeah really really enjoying it and loving it There is only one way for this. As you can see, they are pretty sturdy. Um, just to get out of, they don't tend to flip. You know, trying to get out of a, a kayak on something like this, it'd be a lot more difficult. But uh, yeah, these are pretty sturdy. So let's try and not get muddy. Let's get some water on the go. So yeah, so far pretty impressed with this pack raft. Um, it's a good size, plenty of space inside of it. I probably could drop down a size actually, to be honest. Um, but then if you want to use it for something like bike rafting, you've got a bit more space on the bow as well, and the gear loops are a little bit further back on the uh, starboard and port side compared to other pack rafts. So the, the positions are in the better place for, for tying down the bike. So uh, yeah, pretty impressed with it so far. It's lovely sitting here now. It's getting warm. That'll be snowing in five minutes though, I guarantee. Right, let's wait for that water to boil. Let's have some elk jerky. Great thing about pack rafts is they're packable. You know, they do what it says on the tin and it just really, really opens the doors for, for little tiny micro adventures like what we've done today. You know, you can walk a little way, you can paddle a little way or vice versa or out on your bike and come back uh, on your pack raft and it, it just really massively opens doors to just little micro adventures. Um, just where you live, I mean this is local to me, I mean we've done a 10k walk today and we've paddled probably about, about four back up the river, we've probably got about another three before we get back into town. Actually pretty hungry to be honest, I just smashed that bag of jerky. I'm now on one of these energy bars. I'm now gonna have my soup. I won't need to eat anything she cooks when I get home. Alhamdulillah. Absolutely beautiful day. All right, I think this is ready. Kippis. All right, let's get this done. Oh, it's a bit hot. And get back down the river I think because I think it's gonna rain that's really tasty so that's a meat soup by real term at if you fancy trying some of these there's a discount code available in the description below where you can pick these up uh, from base camp foods in the UK uh, so it's a discount and free delivery as well for any orders over 20 pounds but yeah give them a go Hi there.
So here we are back in town. The van's all finished, so I'm just going to pack up and go and pick that up. So this is just a real quick little test paddle of the Adderley Voyager 3, and I am really impressed with it as a pack raft. It's a great little thing to paddle. I'll stick a full specification and a link to Adderley pack rafts in the description below. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please hit the subscribe button just down here. And as always, a couple of videos for you to take a look at, and we'll see you next week on the next one.